Hey, I'm Mason Lee. And I'm Zach Chrysler. We're two sophomore journalism students trying to understand how much people trust the news media. We took a look at the map of the 2016 presidential election, looking for conservative precincts in Los Angeles. That took us out to La Habra, California and Beverly Hills, California, two of the reddest precincts in LA. We also went to a blue precinct near downtown. The first thing we wanted to know was where people get their news, and we got a variety of answers. Uh, Fox News. Fox. Fox News. Fox News. <laughs> Uh, Fox News. Uh, uh, Post. Okay. I have just the local news app also, ABC News, Okay. CNN. Uh, mostly internet sources, uh, CNN, Huffington Post. Um, for the most part, secondhand. Like, I don't read the paper, I don't watch the news. The Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, mostly from there. A Wall Street Journal. My roommate. New York Times and Facebook. Mostly I think from social media, from Facebook, uh, sometimes I also look, read a um, Wall Street Journal. Next we wanted to find out if people trusted mainstream news sources. The answers we got were surprisingly similar. I trust Fox, but as far as uh, MSNBC, NBC, um, some of these other ones, no, I don't trust them at all. No. I mean, I wouldn't say I distrust it completely, but I wouldn't trust it completely. It's just... Not too much, no. I, yeah, I trust with like a bit of discretion. The mainstream sources, I trust to a certain extent. I think they're definitely biased. I think they're being, uh, they're, they're putting forth their agenda. You know, they only report liberal, mostly the liberal side. A lot of it is pretty biased and doesn't really offer too many uh, counter opinions. It would be nice to have a clear line between opinion and actual news reporting. Develop a sense of responsibility. If you call yourself a journalist, there's standards you should live up to. Um, you shouldn't be, you should be informed of the masses. You shouldn't kind of be preying upon them. Uh, there's an old phrase, just the facts. And I, if we would go back to just the facts, it would be a lot better media.